Today we received the rear view mirror for the 92 Land Rover Range Rover Classic. This is going to give us um, a front um, dash cam and a, a rear cam. It's also going to give us a backup and I don't know, bring a little something modern, modern to it. Hopefully it's not broke or anything silly like that. And hopefully it works good. Pretty excited about it. Pretty cool looking. I watched a couple videos, um, not necessarily on this brand, but I assume there's probably some relabeling or spin-offs of it that you can find on the uh, internet if you look hard enough. Um, it's fairly inexpensive for what it is. So hopefully it works and I've got uh, something else I got to install. Um, I've got one of these in each one of my vehicles, actually the ones with the cameras, but I figured with this one already having a camera, then there was no need to get a uh, Garmin Speak Plus. So we're just going to put the mirror in and a Garmin Speak which I like for, uh, you know, playing music. You can just ask um, this person right here to play songs and certain music for you. And uh, you can also get directions with the, the Garmin Speak, but this isn't so much about the, the Garmin right now. We're gonna focus on this, which like I said, I'm pretty excited about it. Hopefully it's gonna be a good product. Uh, it's kind of, like I said, there's, I watched a few videos, but there really weren't too many out there about it. So. Hopefully, I'll be able to help some of you guys out if you're looking at possibly uh, purchasing this. One thing I see so far that I'm not liking is there's some damage there on the corner of the box. Uh, other than that, I don't think it's going to be a, a deal breaker of any sort, I hope. Now I just got to figure out how to get into it. Um, there's a uh, product number if you're curious into getting this one. This is the 12 inch um, and it's a touch screen. Why can I not open this? Am I not smart enough? Do I need to go back to school to learn how to open a box? It's very possible. There's no, there's no instructions on how to get in here. All right, so what it looks like is, uh, it looks like right across here, I need to make an incision. Possibly. I thought it would just slide out the end, but hold on. Let me see. Nope. It definitely does not just slide out the end. All right, so off to a bad start here. I'm gonna have to watch some videos about how to unbox stuff, I guess. Well, here, we'll just make a, oh gosh. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, it'll probably help if I quit laughing. Let's try this again. We'll just go from this end. Yep, nice. Yeah, look at that. Nice, even, even cut so far. I think I'm gonna be able to make it. Ah, there we go. And, whew, that was, why was that so difficult? Oh, well, it looks like I didn't need to actually cut that. It looks like the box should have slid out of the sleeve, but it didn't actually slide. It just, uh, just kind of made me look stupid, but that's all right. I'm pretty good at that. I don't care, I'm not scared. Okay, so here is, ooh, that's nice looking. What do you think about that? Yeah. Um, Nice. There's a there's a camera up to the front, and it is yes, it is adjustable. So you can aim that guy. This is our touch screen. It has a protective film over it right now, so it may look a little dull on camera. Pull it back a little bit so we can see. Yeah, nice looking clear glass on there. Looks pretty good. And we've got here on the bottom, got USB in. Ooh, it looks like it came with a uh, SD card, AVN, and GPS antenna. I'll uh, show this again. So USB, um, AVN, we've got a SD card, and we have a GPS antenna that needs to be put into it. And it looks like there's a little reset button on the back here for your camera. Yeah, this should be uh, kind of exciting. Can't wait to see how that turns out. What else is in the box? I'm gonna set this off to the side before I break it. So uh, what else we have in the box here? is um, power straps to hold the mirror to the old mirror. I want to see if I can find like a mirror mount so I can uh, get, not get rid of it and not have to use my old mirror also. A GPS antenna and rear facing camera with quite a bit of cord to it. I'll probably just bench test this first so I can see what it's going to look like and how to mount. I'm pretty sure this camera mounts upside down. So, yeah. Camera. 
long cord, power adapter. Uh, I'm gonna hardwire this. I don't want to have um, stuff sticking out of my auxiliary 12 volts if I don't have to. And then there's yeah, the GPS antenna. So that's everything that's in the box. And there's an instruction manual, uh, cloth for cleaning off your lenses. I don't scratch them up. I clean the mirror also. And yeah, pretty straightforward here. Uh, let's pop out. It's uh, got parking mode, which has a reverse assist, which that will be nice. Um, I've got some window tent to go on there. So one problem with a uh, window tent, especially during the winter time or when it's raining, is trying to see where the heck you're going. So this should uh, help with backing up and reversing. With my luck, will just be helping me back up and <laughs> reverse into other people. All right, so I'm going to get my wires ran. I'm sure nobody wants to watch some person wiring something, um, especially the vehicles. Not the same as what you're wiring to. If I do come across any tips or tricks for the uh, Range Rover Classic as far as wiring it up, I will maybe cut some of that in. But all right, that's what we've got for now. And hopefully this will be a, a good solid item.